I am Araceli, a wealth advisor, real estate investor in the United States and Canada, and creator of Wealthy Women in Real Estate. Every week, I meet with Colette, a real estate broker and a real estate investor in Canada. We come together to talk about all things real estate investing and how to increase your wealth. Join us. Welcome everyone. This is Araceli, Transition Wealth Advisor and Real Estate Investor in the U.S. and Canada, helping all of those of you who think that cannot retire, getting into a real estate investment property that you can start catching up with your retirement. I'm here today with my partner, Colette. And Colette, can you introduce yourself and tell us what we're talking about? Sure. Hi, everybody. My name is Colette Raba. I'm a real estate broker in the GTA. Uh, I sell houses anywhere from Etobicoke all the way to Burlington and north to Brampton. <laughs> I always have to think about that. I'm like, I can sell anywhere. But anyway, we always like to talk about things that interest you and we answer your question. And uh, today, I think we have a great subject that we get questions like this all the time. I do anyway, where mm -hmm. people come to me and say, is it a good time to buy? Should I buy? You know, what if I don't buy, how's, how's the market? All these questions sort of, you know, there's one answer really. And we would want to talk about it because every time Araceli and I say, hey, I got this question, we like to answer it between the two of us too because there's always a different perspective. There's always something else to think about before you make this huge decision of either buying or selling. But let's talk about buying today. So what do you think? Okay, so the subject, remember, is buying or renting, like what, what is best for you? Right. So there is really not a clear answer because it all depends. First of all, remember, everything touches money. So if you are in a situation in which you're able, ready to buy a property financially, so you have a, a good job, you have uh, money saved for the down payment, and you have good credit, and you're ready, let's say you're ready to go. The yeah. question is, should you buy? Right. And we're talking about people that, you know, do I qualify? Not you've already done all this research. You already know you qualify, you know, you can get a good mortgage yeah. rate or, and you know a little bit more about the market that you can afford it, all those things. So we're just talking in general, you know, here I have this pile of money. What do I do with it? Should I buy? I'm, I'm comfortable renting now. Maybe if that's the situation, what do we, what do you do? People are go through a separation yes. and then they get their half of whatever their marital home, let's say, and they don't know what to do with that money. Should they buy? Should they um, just rent? So we like to, we like to ask the question of each other. So Araceli, if somebody came to you and posed the question, what would you say to them? If somebody is just recently separated and they have to live the marital home, whether it's the man or the woman, sometimes they have to rethink about their entire life. What are they going to do? Maybe if they have younger children living with them, they might want to stay in the marital home and then the other partner would leave. And sometimes the other partner, depending on their job situation, they say, you know what, maybe it is time for me to maybe relocate and start new somewhere else. Well, so let's sometimes, say, yeah, if, yeah, if you don't have definite plans, yeah, you may want to just say, you know what, I'm going to rent for a little bit, even though I have the money to buy, then you can sort out your um, work schedule, your work plans. Maybe you're going to change jobs. Maybe you're going to relocate from that company to another location. So you have time to think. In that situation, I would definitely rent for a period of time until I decide what my long-term plans are. Uh, but if you already have something that is solid, that you're not going to move, that you want to stay in the city, you may want to take a look at obviously what the market is like and if you want a specific area then you already have more details zoomed in and then you can actually make a purchase but if you are kind of up in the air that you say well maybe i don't know where i'm going i don't like the city maybe i want to try somewhere else maybe this is a good time for renting for a little while at least for a few months what do you think colette well, I think so. And I think the one thing that we both agree on is about lifestyle and, and 
no matter what, like we were talking about one very specific kind of thing of somebody getting a separation or divorce, and then they have to sell their marital home. So now you, you have some money or, you know, whatever the situation is that you're ready to buy, but you're not sure what's the market like. Uh, what are the conditions like? What's the city like? Are there things happening in the city that you want to move to or that's close to work, but you're not sure if, you know, something next door is coming and you don't really want to be in that neighborhood. So there's all these things that just as, as you said, being in, I mean, we're always in transition. Our lives are always in transition. So when you said being stable, having a stable job, having that, you know, you, you know, you're not going to change work or you're not going to change careers even mm -hmm. um, and your kids are going to school in the same area so this is something that the main issue is location if you know exactly where you want to be maybe you can't afford to be in that location but you can afford to rent in that location so all these things and it can be temporary there's nothing wrong with renting like that's the one thing that um, a lot of people say oh I go, most of the planet rents. So, you know, we all have to live somewhere. So don't, yeah. don't get in your head like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. It might happen in the future. There are some people that are very happy renting. They don't have to mow the lawn. They don't have to worry about, oh, you know, the, the sink is um, acting up or the dishwasher is broken. The landlord takes care of all that stuff for you. So if that's your lifestyle, uh, even if you're older and you get a separation as you're older and you think, okay, I'm, I'm semi-retired, let's say, and you can go and travel. Oh my yeah. gosh, rent, take the money and travel with it, invest the money so you can travel even more. So all these things, that's why Araceli is around. So she can say, these are the things that you should be looking at. What do you want out of life? Maybe you're like, I don't, I, I'm fine with renting too. I wouldn't have a problem renting. Well, the thing is, you know, as we age, uh, and if you are a single woman, there is a lot of things to do in a property. No matter what, how big or small it is, there's always maintenance to be done that you need to keep track of and that you need right. to hire people or you need to do yourself. So right. if that is not something that interests you, if that you just want to live a, a life that is free of worry, renting it's better that way right so right. you don't have to worry about it something breaks you call the landlord they'll fix it for you and that's why being a real estate investor is also a good thing because then you can benefit from the people that don't want to deal with these issues so it's for both ways so you need to have somebody that is actually wanted to fix the problems somebody right. that doesn't want to have the problems and right. you know what, you just tweak something in my head too, that it, it kind of, you know, something that I have quite a few people in my life right now where their parents, so they're, they're my age, they're, you know, I want to say midlife, but their <laughs> parents have either passed or they're getting older and their parents have a property and they are taking this property and saying, okay, what do I do with it? Do I sell it or do I rent it out? And, you know, maybe I should sell my house and rent mm -hmm. uh rent or rent out my house and then i will move into my parents house so there's everybody has these transitions you know in, in life and if you have this kind of gift of having a property that is now vacant or uh you don't know what to do with it then maybe being a landlord is not something that you want to be mm -hmm. so sell it or you can move into it and then rent out your property or you can rent it if your parents are still alive rent the house from your parents you live in the house pay them rent probably they'll give you hopefully they'll give you a good deal and you can save money yourself sell your property so everything is always moving everything is always changing it's about your lifestyle it's about what you want to do with your life keep your expenses down Araceli and i always say that yeah. no matter what it is it's all about the numbers and how you want to live yeah so the most important thing is obviously make sure that you have your finances secure so you know where you are whether it's renting or buying and right. then look at your lifestyle because as we you know get wiser instead of aging i just say as we get wiser 
we want different things. Our lifestyle changes. Maybe your health has changed as well, and you need certain things to be done in a different way. Maybe you cannot go up the stairs, so you, maybe you need one floor. So what is it that it's going to make you happy and comfortable? And right. that is the most important thing. Of course, you know, money is there. Like if you could invest, that would be great. But if it's not something that you want to do, you want to look after yourself and you want to be happy with the lifestyle that you have. And sometimes mm -hmm. renting is perfectly okay. Of course. Yeah. And even uh, I, I was even thinking, I'll rent out my house. I could get so much money for my house. I don't need a big house. I'll rent a smaller apartment and I'll be, somebody will give me money to, to pay my mortgage and to take care of my house. I don't want to sell it. I, I'm perfectly fine with having my kids inherit it, or maybe I want to move back sometime. But yeah. for now, let's just say magical. I want to travel. Yeah. I'll rent out my house. I'll, I'll rent a smaller apartment. I will make money every month because I won't mm -hmm. rent an apartment the same amount as what I'm getting. Yeah. So why not? What's the yeah. problem? If you don't want to sell that property, whichever, if it's your parents' house or if it's your own house, rent it out. There are property managers. If you don't want to deal with the headache of tenants, there's always a way to do it, but it comes down to the money and what happens. Everybody always needs money, but what's the risk? What's the reward? That's why we're here for you. <laughs> you can ask us these questions. Exactly. There's a, a number of ways to do things. There's not one way. So we're here basically to give you some impartial opinions right and many many another way to look at things uh, but don't feel that you have to buy even though you have the money so you just have to look at the overall situation your overall situation and what is the best for you so that's basically the advice today so rent or buy tell us what would you do would you buy or would you rent and why so just please remember to comment below and uh, let us know. I, I, I'd be interested to know what people are doing right now. That'd be awesome. So, yeah. Thank you, Colette, for being here and thank giving you. your opinion. Okay. And so, thanks for joining us. Yeah. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you for being here on the show. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when there are more shows available. And if you would like to have more information on how to start investing in real estate, please visit my website at www.arisalihernandez.com. Thank you.